So I'm out here at Moriata and I got a Lapierre Spicy. So this is Cow's Bike. It's uh, just been, I just had a frame replacement. Had the alloy, which is a little bit clunky if I'm honest. Uh, now he's got the uh, the carbon. We just did a little tickle, tighten a few things up and made sure everything's uh, not rattling and, and yeah, as it should be. Had a little tickle with the suspension, not really, not, nothing much. Uh, I think he's got it fairly close. So just wants me to do a lap or a couple of laps and, and see how it feels. So local trail, uh, kind of akin to the speeds and the style of, of riding you do at Fox Creek. So probably a good place to set up. If I was going for an all-round setup, I'd, I would have gone to Waterfall Gully or Horsnells to set it up um, and real, do a real comprehensive setup on it. But I don't have the van at the moment because I'm getting the injectors done and uh, so I've only got a uh, little little hatchback run around which I can't get the bikes into. So let's head up this hill and see what we think of it. We got 65 head angle, 65 degree head angle, 74 and a half degree seat angle. So the seating position climbing is not very good. Uh, like it's alright but it's not it doesn't make it easy climbing compared to these 78, 79 degree uh, seat angles. They're way, way easier, in my opinion. So I've slammed his seat forward. That's, oops, that's definitely made it a little bit better. Uh, it's got a 32 tooth chain ring on it as well. For a 29er, there's no need for a 32. 30's plenty. If you're spinning out a 30 on a downhill track, you're a stronger dude than I am for sure. And uh, I don't really know anywhere in Adelaide where I can spin out a 30 on a downhill track. I can't spin it out on the road going down hills, so I definitely can't spin it out on the trails. So, 30 on a down on a, a 29er, 32 on a 27, gives you much easier climbing, uh, and you don't lose anything on the sprints on the way down. It might affect the suspension a little bit. Um, I haven't really had a deep enough dive. Friends have told me, yeah, you know, like it changes the pivot points slightly or something like that. I haven't dug deep enough into it, but. Uh, 30 for 29 is 32 for 27 on the rear Let's get up there I Skipped over a couple of deets there, so uh, 433 chain stay 1227 wheelbase uh, Quite a low front end as well and a low bar. It looks like a maybe a 20 mil bar rise and it's only 1060 off the ground up the front there. So it absolutely feels too low at the front uh, In relation to the rest of the bike but um, we're gonna make it work. 36 feels okay, feels actually quite smooth. I just did a half run before and uh, yeah. The only downside is that low front so far and the long crank. It says in the spec that it's a 170 crank, but it certainly feels like a 175. Definitely feels like a 175. So um, I'd like to peel the tape back and, and see what it says on the crank, or maybe I'll just measure it when I get home. But uh, I think they're 175s, and either way, that stuff, even the 170s, they went out of fashion 10 years ago. You gotta run the 165. There's no negatives unless you're just doing road riding. Then you kinda want that 170 or 175 for the high high speed leverage. So once you're, you're at high speed, you can hold, doesn't matter. Anyway, I've been over that a million times. Let's do a lap. Whoa. Pretty smooth actually down there on the front. Not very choppy on the back through those rocks. Yeah, it's calm. It moves well. Maybe a little soft on the fork. I can feel myself just kind of squashing into it a little bit. It was a bit better with the rebound faster, but it was kind of poking a little bit. So, yeah, that's good. Oh, little juddery through there. That back caught a couple of those bumps, but not too bad. Definitely feel a little odd with this handlebar. I don't know whether I've got them rolled back a bit far. Because they feel like they're sweeping down to me a little bit. Yeah, but that stick almost got me. 
Damn, my feet are real wide apart with these long cranks. Which you get used to, no worries, but it doesn't make for a very capable stance compared to us. So yeah, just catch and bump the harder square edge on the square edges on the back. Could maybe go a faster rebound so it's recovering quicker. It's like a it's catching the consecutive hit. It's catching that second or third hit and squaring off, so I'll speed that rebound up a bit out the back. Maybe introduce a little bit of compression, three clicks of compression, and we're gonna go too faster on the rebound. I'm gonna grab my backpack. You guys know my secret stash spot. Not so secret anymore. So a little faster on the rear, one more click of compression to see if we can get a bit of um, more resistance to getting into that travel where it's catching the square hits. But not so much that it just catches all the hits on the top. Too much compression, you won't get through anything. Won't get out of the way of anything. Not enough. And it's just going to be slap in the bottom. Forks a little soft. Just found myself reaching for it a bit then on a uh, loading a corner then again. And I might roll those bars forward again. Just a touch. Yeah, let's do that now. So we're back to the original spot the cow had these handlebars at now. So we'll see. Uh, so it initially kind of felt to me like they were too far forward. But um, riding them like that, felt like that, oh, that's uh, actually pretty good. It's just a matter of, there's a 35 mil, oh, I should have taken that turn. I don't like these little straight lines. That, woo, hey guys, hey man. Yeah, straight lines everywhere. The boy who didn't like the corner. A little wide on the pedal there, like I clipped my right foot on the way out. And it was just a little rough on that landing too. I did go deep, which is fun. Yeah, this bar roll is not too bad where it is now. It's actually no worries. It's giving me a better feeling of being right on top of it. But this 35mm stem is just a little short, I think puts me in front of the steering axle. Ah, sorry, behind the steering axle. A little bit rough through here. I think that fork, yeah, the fork's just a little bit punchy. Could open up that compression a bit more. But overall, not bad really. Definitely better. I had a little slap on this with the alloy frame, just mainly around home and on the creek, which I got some good lines on the creek there. And uh, the alloy frame just felt a little clunky and it just didn't feel that, that crash hot. Felt a bit rough and whatnot. This feels better. The frame feels good. The rear shock's just a little choppy still, maybe it's the spring rate. That's only a 300 fox spring, so, and I'm quite low in the sag, so, um, maybe bring it up a little higher so it's not going down into that travel. Um, but for his weight, he's a little bit lighter than me, probably pretty good. 150 dropper, so, um, got to kind of just keep it down, uh, out the way and suffer on the climbs. Or you can have it for a good climbing position and suffer on the way down, which no one wants to do. Used a fair bit of travel on the Yeehaw bar on the fork. Uh, yeah, I think maybe just open that compression up a little bit on the fork. Because it's got this, this grip dial. One, two, three, 
four. I was at four clicks on the grip dial. Six clicks is like half locked out, or seven clicks is half locked out. And then, yeah, those first six clicks are like your, um, your fine tuning. So maybe three clicks is the go on that one. But uh, yeah, kind of uh modest geometry not crazy geometry but it works it feels nice lefts and rights once i fixed that handlebar roll it felt nice lefts and rights for sure long cranks it's the only thing i'm not really enjoying is the long cranks uh i could spend more time setting that rear up playing around spring rate i'd put a fox spring on it for starters i'd nick that rock shock spring off and um and run a fox spring but that's up to him just for the lighter spring it'll be a fair bit fairly lighter setup and i think the fox springs feel a little different so um don't know better or worse but i'd like to try it back to back i've, I've done it before on other bikes and um the spring rates don't match the 300 spring is like a 350 fox spring so anyway enough jibber jabber that's one lap on the spicy Thanks, cow. Cool bike, man, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Does a mean wheelie, too. This thing's killer. <laughs>